Hey everyone, welcome to another MLM Dumpster Fire, another Zaya edition, Zaya training. I think this is my 15th video on Zaya. Today we're back to watch another training from this tippy top Zaya rep, and she's like the tippy top. Before we get into it, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button because that's a very nice free way to support my channel if you'd like. And big shout out to all my channel members as always. Really, really appreciate you guys. You help me out so much. Okay, her name is Christine. So this is all public. We can say her name now and we can show her face as well because we have new rules on my YouTube channel. <laughs> my ethics are in the trash and I'm very happy because editing is much simpler when you don't have to blur people's faces. Hello, you guys. How is everybody doing today? I am very, very excited to talk to you guys about what we're going over. Um, for a number of reasons that we're going to dive into. As ho people hop on now, I want to show you what I'm wearing as normal. Uh oh, I'm stuck here. Don't want to screw up the name. All right, I'm wearing, I, this is the men's sweatshirt, you guys. How cute is it? This is the men's Sonoran red texture sweatshirt. This is the one that came out in like this kind of pinky color. It's more of a salmon. I shouldn't say pink. It's more of a salmon color, corally color. And then um, it came out, what other color, you guys? It came out in kind of a, an oatmeal color. And then I think a blue, a blue black color, I think. Um, anyways, super, super nice, really premium material. Look at the stretch on this. If I'm taking photos about rider wear stuff back when I was an ambassador, I'm no longer an ambassador, by the way, they have closed their program in January this year. If I buy something, I would know the colors that it came out in. And because rider wear would put out new launches every month or maybe even longer, sometimes depends. And she doesn't know the colors of this sweatshirt that she bought. Because Zaya puts out so many new launches, they put out new clothes every single week guys every freaking week there's new stuff coming out so of course she doesn't remember she can't remember what colors the jumper comes in because there's just too many of them like there's too much stuff coming out constantly and you're just kind of you have this fomo where you have to keep buying especially if you're a rep you want to advertise the products you have to keep buying the products as they come out right so yeah i'm scared to even think about how much money these reps actually spend on zaya clothing every single week it does have like a nice little texture and it's kind of heathered too so it's got all the all the goodness in it i'm wearing a size small Let's see if i can I have jeans on today i always feel like so wrong when i have my jeans on but you can kind of see i have it tucked in super cute okay <laughs> that gave enough time for people to jump on <laughs> hello hello all right you guys let's get into this like i said i'm so excited to talk to you guys about this because i feel like right now it is so important that we not only know how to answer all of these questions, but we feel comfortable answering them. We feel confident when we get these questions. Um, and you know, I know we've gone over this before, but a lot of times we get weird sometimes when we're talking about the business opportunity. And I think some of that stems from feeling like, oh my gosh, what if I get a question? I don't know how to answer. Okay. Ooh, there's a fly buzzing around. Um, so we're going to go over all of it today. And I want you, if, as I'm going through these, if you have a different way to answer these, if you have a different way that you approach this, please, please put it in the comments and share it with us. I know we're going, we're in two different groups. So, um, I'll, I'll try to read them so you can, so we can all hear it. If you're not in the same group that the comments happening on. Um, but I think it's really, really important that we do kind of share this stuff and get different approaches. This is one method. This is one way to approach it. Um, so as always, please share, please, please share. All right, you guys diving in here. It is, it's no, no secret right now what's going on in our economy, right? Um, inflation is happening. It just is. Um, costs are going up. Minimum wage requirements are going up. What happens when the, all that combines? Businesses are shutting down. A lot of brick and mortar companies, at least around here, I drive up and I'm like, oh, I was here yesterday. And then I drive up and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're no longer in business. Um, you know, they can't always afford these costs that we're incurring. Um, and, you know, it's important to look at that because what happens when, when costs continue to rise is people need more money to sustain the lifestyle that they have been living. Um, it is estimated 
you guys, that inflation is costing an average of four to ten thousand dollars a year. Okay, more. Um, if you're going to keep the same lifestyle, all right. So keep that in mind. On the low end, that means it would cost an extra three hundred thirty-three dollars on average a month on the low end, and on the high end, an extra eight hundred thirty-three dollars a month on the high end. Okay, I'm in California. We're probably near that mark. Okay, so keep that keep that number in mind. Um, if you just even let's take a average of those two and even on the lower end, you're looking at approximately five, let's just say for simplicity's sake, an extra $500. Okay. $500 a month to sustain the same kind of lifestyle that you have been living. Okay. With inflation. We've heard this so many times and this is no different in Zaya. Um, oh yeah. Inflation. We need this much money monthly to keep our lifestyles or to be able to afford our rent and our expenses. Join an MLM, join my MLM, because this is where you can get $500 a month extra. Zaya doesn't have an income disclosure statement. So I would love to see this being backed up with an income disclosure statement. Show us how many people in Zaya actually earn $500 a month. Same thing that I said earlier this week in the Q Sciences video, if people are actually winning in Zaya and everyone is earning this great money, wouldn't the company itself want to show this to people who are outside looking in and looking into the opportunity? Wouldn't they want to give them an income disclosure statement where they can see numbers and percentages like, oh my God, look how many people earn good money every month or every year with Zaya. This is definitely something for me. Compensation plan tells you what could be, but it doesn't tell you what actually is happening and how much money people are actually earning. And according to the FTC, up to 99% of people that join multi-level marketing companies, Zaya and all other don't make any profit. So yeah, I would love to see this income claim being backed up with some kind of statistic. But like I said, big red flag that Zaya does not put out an income disclosure statement. They're not a young company. They have enough data to be able to show us, show us how much money are your reps earning especially because they like to say they're so transparent and they're much better than other mlms it's like okay where's the proof just talks no proof and we're gonna come back to that you guys it is an estimated that's an estimate that 70 million working americans have a side income okay this is not a new concept this is something that people are doing people want extra added revenue extra income so that they can do those extra things in this case it's not so much extra this is just to maintain you the lifestyle you've been living okay this is not a new idea um who on here was a part of zaya back in 2020 during those months of march through april Anyone on here? Were we here during that time? During for anyone that was not a part of Zaya during that time, um, again, it wasn't a secret. During COVID, a lot of we saw a lot of people picking up additional um, you know, side incomes. They were looking for different jobs. They can work from home. They were looking for additional income. What happened when this whole thing was kind of put in motion is our company during March and April of 2020, 2020 we um in volume and number of orders were up 400 percent okay can you imagine like 400 <laughs> percent who on this call okay i see i see a lot of people were part of that pretty crazy right like whole this is also not the first time that we hear that a mlm company did very well for itself during the pandemic because people were people lost their jobs people couldn't work we were all stuck inside and in quarantine well most of us that have like office jobs and things like that and yeah the mlm companies were were thriving because they were like they were saying exactly what this lady is saying earn 500 dollars extra every month and work from home and whatever so people would not do their research properly and they would just see this they were desperate vulnerable and they would join and zaya is not the first one not the last company that absolutely thrived in the pandemic and that just makes it so much more disgusting to me because i was unemployed during the pandemic and vulnerable and i almost got recruited into arbon juice plus and beach body so i understand how they felt 
and I understand why they ended up joining. Because I would have too if I didn't find anti-MLM. Because my best friend actually told me like, did you ever look at the income disclosure statement on Beachbody though? They, I don't think they earned that much money. And then I went over and I looked at it and I was like, oh yeah, they actually don't. Then I searched it on YouTube and I found Kiki Chanel and Cece Suarez and I started binge watching their videos and two years later, here we are. Holy cow, it was insane times. Um, it literally, we doubled and then we doubled again. Like it was just massive. Okay. And that was all because people were, were jumping in. They were like, well, I, I need additional income. I can do this from home. All number of reasons, whatever but our company grew a lot, all right? So now looking at our current economy, where we're at with everything, industry experts are now project projecting another massive surge in network marketing, okay? In the next 12 to 24 months. All I can say is let's be ready. Let's be prepared. Let's talk about this opportunity. Let's share this business because it can change lives. It is a huge blessing. And when we're equipped to talk about it and share it, it makes a huge impact, okay? Let's have our boats in the water because if this happens again, which it's going to, according to experts looking at the industry, looking at our economy, get ready. We are going to have a massive surge in growth again, okay? Um, all right, so just keep that. That's kind of like put it on the back burner there, but I want to kind of set the precedent of why we're even talking about this, why this is so, so important. Um, that we feel comfortable and confident in doing this. Let me see if I can shut off my, um, hold on. I'm going to try to quit my messages and see if that, and if not, I think I can silence this, you guys, because I don't think it's going, okay, I think I silenced it. Let's see. Let's see if that stops the digging. Um, you think you don't know how to put your phone on silent, lady. You're top 1% and you do this all the time. Do they have to listen to your dings all the time? Um. All right, you guys, let's get into the first one. And like I said, I'm going to jump around a little bit. If you have extra questions, put them in the comments and I will answer them as well. All right, we hear this a lot when people are looking at it. You know, people are, are shopping around right now. Let's be honest. They're looking at multiple different direct selling companies. Social, sell social selling is all the rage right now. People are going to do their research. Well, should I go here? Should I go here? Let's talk about why they should be right here. Let's talk about what sets our company apart from the rest and why you want to share those things with people so they feel comfortable being in this place, all right? Um, I hear it all the time. Is this market, is it is it oversaturated? What? Oh, that did not work. It, I'm still getting dings, you guys. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can... Don't know. Maybe it actually, I know what I can do. I know what I can do, you guys. I'm gonna just mute because I don't need to hear anything there. You guys can still hear me, okay, right? As long as you guys can hear me, all right. I think that'll silence my dinging going on. You guys hear me? Um, close my. I did do that. Okay, good. We're good. I did close messages and it's still dinging. So, okay, as long as you can hear me, we're good. All right. Um. So again timing, competition. These are all things. Is it oversaturated? Let's be honest, you guys, looking at network marketing, the activewear market is not very present, right? Like we're so lucky. Look at all the different companies, all the different competition that exists within supplements, skincare, nutrition, workouts, all of it. There are so many to choose from. There is massive amounts of competition. Then you look at activewear and we're sitting uh, pretty darn well, you guys. So I yeah, what? It's just Savvy and Zaya so far. Is there any other activewear MLMs that I'm forgetting now? But I think the most popular ones are definitely Savvy and Zaya. But I think Savvy is a lot more popular. At least I keep seeing Savvy reps everywhere. Not that many Zaya reps though. I always like to mention that with people too. Look at who's entering, new companies coming in. It's not activewear, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, the other thing, this product that we're selling, you guys, 
in 2022, act of where you guys is projected, not projected, it is a $421 billion industry. Like wrap your head around that for a second. Interesting that she's saying all of this because Zaya is actually going, they're moving away from activewear. No, they're not moving away. They're still putting out loads of activewear every single week. They're still gonna sell activewear as well, but they started selling like workout equipment. And I think they started, I think they have like one or two supplements or something from recently. So just being an activewear company, obviously they didn't think that was enough. That wasn't earning them maybe enough money or I don't know why they made this business plan to expand. I find it interesting that she's talking about how great it is that they're just selling activewear or whatever. The competition's not bad. When at the same time, like I said, they're putting out work of equipment. They have something, I keep forgetting, I don't know. Like obviously activewear was not enough to them. That's why they started expanding. Um, it is projected that in 10 years, 10 years down the road, um, in 2032, that the industry will be a $779 billion industry. That's nearly double. Okay. So what does that say? We're not going anywhere. You guys, we're, we're fashion, we're clothing. Yes. Our products will shift and change. You've probably already seen it. Look what I'm wearing. Okay. We're going to, we're going to move with the trends. Of course. We're going to see more athleisure, more different pieces that you can intertwine with, with things, not just workout wear. But my point is we are a very, very strong industry that is not slowing down. We are only growing. We are only getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. And the other thing that I love about our company, so many of the companies I'm seeing entering the marketplace, they're, they're kind of quick fixes. I guess if I'm saying it like that, they're, I feel like some even are monopolizing on the post COVID. Okay. This is going to give you better mental, whatever. Um, and I think, I think there's something to be said there as great as those can be. It's they're kind of trendy. I feel like, um, and I think that looking at a long-term projection here, I don't know if those products will be as successful in three years, four years, whatever. I don't know. And I'm not going to say if they will be, but for me, I know this industry is strong it's stable. It's not going anywhere. I'm not going to say that they they won't be, but I just kind of said that they won't be as strong in three years. Okay, Christine. Our, our products evolve, but the clothing industry is pretty darn strong last time I checked. Um, I think it's also, you know, people, when they say oversaturated, you know, I, I it, do people know about it? I That is what I literally use when I'm talking to a, a customer um, about this brand. And if they want to partner up, I tell them, go ask people, see if anyone has heard of this brand, go talk to people, talk to friends, family, people you run into, ask them if they've ever heard of Zaya. Usually they come back and say, no, they haven't heard of it. You're like, we're so little, you guys, I we're so, we're not even on the map yet. And I feel like that really puts into perspective for people when, when they're, they come back and they're like, yeah, no, no one knows of it. I'm like, well, have fun. You have a huge opportunity then. Now there are times if maybe there's other reps and you're from a very small town and you have other reps local that they, they're like, oh no, everybody knows about it here. Then that opens up another opportunity to talk about, well, you're, I mean, I don't want to be mean, but you're thinking really small if you were just focusing on your immediate friends and family in your neighborhood, okay? Let's go way bigger. Let's expand that. Let's get outside of that circle and talk about the business opportunity that is a massive outside of that, that immediate circle, okay? So there's so much opportunity to talk about this with people, um, but that's usually what I go. That's my go-to. Talk to people. Do your research. I always, always tell people, do your research. Um, you know, don't just jump into this, like take some time, make sure it's a good fit, go through those steps. You don't ever want someone just jumping in blindly and, you know, I want them equipped. I want them to feel good. And if that means you take months to research, do that. If you want to tell people to do their research, you should probably tell them to look into FTC as part about MLMs and also income disclosure statement from other MLMs because your own doesn't have one. And it's very, very useful for people who are trying to do research to see the real true earnings potential. But yeah, that's just my opinion. That, okay. Um, yep, yeah, social media is infinite. Absolutely. I mean, it's just, there's no end and you start go down that route and ask if people have ever heard of Zaya. Like there's so many people have never heard of this company. It's pretty darn awesome. Um, all right.
I love how when the company is really well known, they're like, oh, it's great because everyone knows us. Everyone knows that we're this and that. And then for Zaya, no one knows about Zaya yet. But yet on some other calls, she was claiming that they're global and that people know more and more about it. But now she's saying that no one knows about them, which is true because I feel like most of the people don't know about Zaya. But also if I got offered like an ambassadorship for a brand that I never wear and that I've never heard of, I would probably not take it unless it's really like big and popular on instagram and everywhere else maybe i would try some stuff and then if i like it i would accept it but i would prefer to get something from like my protein or like i did with riderwear because i knew who they were i was already wearing their stuff before i became an ambassador let's see what else okay isn't it better to sell a not or, or a consumable product we hear this a lot too all right at least i hear it from other companies really pushing that idea while it's- I wonder if she's going to have a question there, but isn't it a pyramid scheme? I would love to hear her address that question because that question comes up very, very often. It's a consumable product. Um, you guys, I know that this is a good fit for me here because I love the fact that we are a non-subscription product. We are a non-consumable product. We're fashion, okay? We're not sitting here saying, oh, you might want to go check with your doctor before you buy our product. We're not talking about ingredients and this and that, before and after, all that stuff. Although our light and tights, that's another story. There is some before and after that happened there. But that is not the point here. What I'm saying is we are fashion. If you like it, then you buy it. We're not having to do all those things and intertwining health and all that stuff in it. Okay, I love that. That's how I know it's a good fit. Now, if people want that side of it, great. Maybe Uzziah isn't the spot for them, but for me, I love that part of it. That's super fun, stress-free, stress um, and it just, that's an important element for me. I, I love that about it. Um, what else, what else? All right, with our weekly launches, you guys, going back to the fact that we are a non-subscription, non-consumable product, we are not waiting to introduce or sell a product after they have used that product up, okay? And we are also not something that we're relying on a subscription where people have to sign up or a membership fee or anything like that to buy our product. We are able to bring them new products every single week, okay? This is huge. This, this far surpasses the monthly subscription or the consumable product where, you know, a couple months down the road, you ask if they wanna buy it again. Every single week we have product launches. This is a huge, huge differentiator that sets. We always acknowledge this in all of my Zaya videos and I have had some former reps contact me and tell me the exact same thing about the quality of Zaya clothing. They would say because it makes sense, right? If a company is putting out new launches every single week, it's nearly impossible, especially if you're trying to be a high fashion luxury brand or whatever, it's nearly impossible to keep your quality good if you're putting out new stuff every single week. And that's exactly what a lot of the former Zaya reps told me that you can order like two pairs of the same legging and same size and they're gonna be different size and they're gonna be totally different in quality and in material. Like some of them are gonna be extremely see-through and then the other pair is gonna be normal. You know what I mean? Which, like I said, it makes sense. If you're pumping out new stuff every single week, of course, it's it's not possible for you to keep the quality top-notch. Because far apart from other company, companies, you guys, make sure that when you're talking about this business, people know that. Every time, every time I bring that up, it's like, what? Like they take a double take. You what? How do you do that even? I don't know how you do it, how they, they manage to do that. But it is such an amazing experience for our customers and an incredible opportunity for us as reps. We always have new products to promote. We always have new things to share. It's amazing. Um, I was sitting at my daughter's softball practice last night and it was really ironic, but I was sitting there working on the training for today and the girl sitting across from me um, my new friend, she was like, are you working on Zaya? And I said, yeah, I'm working on my training. And so she started asking questions. She didn't know what the training was about, but we were talking about all the questions about Zaya. Um, but she started asking me certain things about, you know, what is, what's it required? What do you have to sell each month and shipping and this and that. And everything that she asked me. And when I responded, she was like, oh, and she said it multiple times. She's like, you guys are so lucky. 
oh, wow, that's amazing. And it made me think, I'm like, this is exactly what I am talking about. So many of these things people don't know. We assume because we may know a lot of the answers to these, but we assume other people do. They don't. And so much of this sets us apart, you guys. I mean, she was like, and, and she did network marketing as well. So she was kind of comparing and she everything that she had asked. And I commented back, she's like, oh, wow, that's amazing. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. I thought it was funny. I was like, uh, it was perfect timing in this. All right, you guys. Um, What kind of comp plan is I? This is a huge one. And this is where we all like freeze up. I don't know how many times I have to message customer service when I get this question over and over, people are like, are you binary or are you unilevel? I'm like, oh, let me get right back to you. I had no idea. I just, network marketing is all new for me. Okay. So I'm, I've been learning over the last, last five years. Um, basically what you need. Oh yeah. I forgot to mention that she's the tippy top rep because she joined when the company only started. She joined very early and that's why she's one of the top reps now. Need to know if someone asks you this question, we Zai is a unilevel um, comp plan. Okay, what that means? We are simple. We have no cap. We can grow as wide as we want. Um, there's just a lot of I think benefits more so in just the simplicity factor. Let's go back to that first number that we talked about. Right. Let's say that we need that extra five hundred dollars a month. We need that extra five hundred for whatever reason. If we're just maintaining our current lifestyle. I love the fact that I know if let's say I just enrolled, I enrolled today. I'm a rep. I have not rank advanced, nothing. I know that if I need to make an extra $500 a month, I need to sell $1,800 worth of product. That's it. That's very simple. Okay. And that's, it's that's very simple, but how easy is it to achieve? That's a shit ton of money. That's a lot of big orders every single month. How many people are going to buy so much stuff from Zaya? Not many people can actually do that, especially if they don't have a following on social media. They're just able to like try to sell to their war market, their family and friends. They're not going to be able to meet that. That's just at the very base of it. Okay. So I like knowing with our compensation plan, the way to set up, if you have a number in mind that you need to make, there, there's not guessing. It's numbers. You sell this much, you make 28% of it's over $1,000, okay? So really simplistic in that form. I love the control we have over it. We're not being placed somewhere in a team. We get to make the choice who we enroll with. We get to build our teams how we want um, versus binary where you're kind of put in there. You don't have as much choice in that. There's only two main legs. So you can study up a little bit more on that, but just know we are unilevel. There are a lot of perks with that. Um, and just the simplicity of our comp plan. I love that. I like to share that. I like to talk about it. So people know, people want to know, what do I have to do? This is what I need. What do I have to do? Well, here's what you have to do. You sell the product and there's so many ways you can do it. Okay. So keep that in mind. Love that. Um, hold on. Now I've, now I've done it. Hold on. Let me get my, oh, okay. I'm back. Um, yep. So simple. Totally is. Um, coast to coast immediately. Didn't expect that. Yeah. You can grow so big, so fast and so big when you get outside of that circle. That's for sure. All right. Uh, okay. Here's a fun stat for you. Zyreps earn three to four times the industry average. They are paid three to four times more in commission than the industry average. That's kind of cool, right? Um, all right. You should know what the reason. Oh, I would have loved if you had an income disclosure statement so that you can share the average or median earnings of these Zaya reps that get such good paychecks every single month with Zaya. Tension rates are for both customers and reps. Um, for reps per the DSA direct sales average is 55%. Okay. Oh, just peanut. Um, in Zaya, our retention rates for reps is 76%. This is huge. I love sharing this number because it shows the culture. It shows what's happening inside of our company. It shows your experience as a rep. When you have a 76% retention rate, which is amazing, that shows what is happening within the company. All right, customers, um, industry average for athletic wear, 60% repeat customers, okay? Not bad, pretty darn good. In Zaya, the customer reorder rate in 12 months, is 80%. That's unreal. Like that is so amazing. And I think of 
you know, my own customer. It is unreal because most of the people who buy the clothes are the distributors. And like we just said recently, you have new launches every single week. So of course they're going to keep wanting to buy more and more clothes so that they can advertise it properly. Most of those people are, are the distributors. That's why they're buying over and over and over again. That is so misleading in my opinion. When I started five years ago, the customers that I started that supported me at the very beginning of my of of my launch of my business, they're still ordering like that says something right like how amazing is that when you have a product that people come back and back and back for it's incredible. And again, this all ties in with the whole idea of what has to be a consumable product and this and that I'm like, no, look at what is happening. Look at our orders again and again, our customers come back and back and back and we have opportunities for them to come back every single week. All right. So keep that in mind. Retention rate. I think those are really, really cool numbers to share. Um, all right. This is a good one. You guys, um, is this a pyramid scheme? I'm trying not to roll my eyes right now. Um, welcome to 2022. You guys, First of all, pyramid schemes are illegal. Can we get that out there for people that ask that? Oh yeah, thank you. I did not see that answer coming, wow. Um, and I think people go back to this because of, you know, direct sales companies, we have a tiered compensation plan, we do. And I think they, that ties in with it. They, they automatically, oh, well, it's pyramid scheme, tiered compensation plan, pyramid scheme. Pyramid schemes are illegal and pyramid schemes also rely on, they're, they're not collecting money for a product, okay? They're collecting investors to recruit more investors. Mm -hmm. Last time I checked, we sell activewear and we make money off what we sell. We are not paying out, we're not paying people for bringing on more enrollments. We are getting paid for what we are selling. We are getting paid for a product we sell. Um, 80 percent of all of our sales are from customers you guys that's another great stat to keep in mind uh, but distributors are customers as well also don't you know christine that there is such thing as a product-based pyramid scheme also just because pyramid schemes are illegal it does not mean that they don't exist anymore there have been mlms in the past which were taken to court by the ftc and proven to be operating as pyramid schemes and they were shut down herbalife is one of those and then they had to restructure and start over after that that was in 2016 i think so that's not really the good way to address that but yeah 80 percent are from customers um i i think it's so it's so interesting though because i feel like no matter how again this is the new norm social selling direct sit, using direct sales as the channel to sell all of these things side income uh, i keep i'm always like aren't we past this is this question still coming up and no we're not past it the question is still coming up so to just arm yourself with the basic knowledge i mean pyramid schemes there's no genuine product or service um, there is such thing as product-based pyramid scheme, Christine. So I love when they say, oh my God, you just educate yourself, you know, and while they're talking bullshit, like they're talking something that's not even correct. So yeah, like I said, there is such thing as product-based pyramid scheme. It has nothing to do with the fact if there's product or no, it's if most money comes from recruitment, you know, that's what makes something a pyramid scheme. It has nothing to do with products. That they're getting paid for. We sell activewear and we make commissions off what of what we sell. So keep that in mind um, as you get. Why do you recruit then? Why do you have a big team underneath you, Christine? If you have nothing from recruiting and you're not getting any kind of incentive, why are you recruiting people? If you can just earn money and be a top rep without recruiting and just selling the products, then why do you have a huge downline underneath you? Why? Because you want to help people. Yeah, sure. Questions um, about this, and I love. Another question that usually follows up this one, and I know we all get it. Um, you know, is this a pyramid scheme? Do, wait, do I have to grow a team for this? And I'm always like, no, you don't have to grow a team. I have so many people that have come on and they're like, you know, I don't really want to grow a team. I just want to sell the product. I'm like, great, do that. You can come on, you can enroll same day, your website's up, you can sell the product and you are going to make 20 to 28% commission off every Thing you sell 
go back to that number. Someone signs up, they need $500 extra dollars. You know you have to sell $1,800 worth of product. You can do that the same day and boom, you've just earned $500. $1,800, oh my God. Also, yeah, but I would love to see the income disclosure statement then that shows us how much money do these people earn? Okay, so I... I, that that question probably won't go anywhere. It will always be lingering around and that is okay, but we want to know how to answer it. Okay. Um, let's see. Now I am not as organized at this part because I have questions all over the place. So I'm going to try to get to all of them. How are we doing on time? I'm doing a little longer. Okay. Um, cost, you guys, I think these, and again, add anything that else that you guys are hearing. Um, I always get, are there membership fees? Are there subscriptions? Are there cancellation fees? Are they month? Are there monthly co quotas? What's the catch? You know, people are like, well, what is it? I always share the three numbers. I don't share these right off the bat. Like if you're just opening up your conversation, I don't share these right off the bat. I try not to even talk about money at all. I want to talk about all the other blessings, the product, all this good stuff before talking about this. But when they ask, you definitely want to know these numbers, okay? These are important. $200, you're going to earn commission. And this is all US, you guys, I'm talking right here. $200, you're going to earn commission. $600, you're going to get your rep website fee waived. I have been with the company nearly five and a half years. I have never once had to pay my rep website fee. I share that. I make sure people know that. Um, $1,000 mark, you're going to ex you earn an extra 8% commission. So I always put that $1,000, like that's your goal. That should be a goal for every single person on this call. $1,000 mark, you want to be getting maximum commissions. You get your extra 8% bonus, okay? And if you're hitting that, you're hitting these other numbers. But make sure when you talk about it, you bring up 200, 600, and a thousand dollar marks. What happens at each of these, what they want to shoot for, okay? And make sure that they know you have a couple months to get going on that website fee. They give you a little grace period there. You don't have to hit the $600 right out the gate or even the following month. You have a little grace period there. So make sure they know that too. Um, we talked about repeat customers. Okay, often you'll get questions about the founders. Again, I recommend people do your research. Know who you're jumping in with. Um, I make sure they know the founders, okay? We have Aaron, we have the Bradleys, the fabulous Bradleys at the core of this company. I try to not go overwork because I want to. I want to just tell them how amazing and fabulous they are and why are they are at the root of this company and that's why we're so successful and this, that. I want to go off, but I try to like, be professional about it. Um, but I definitely let them know Aaron and Jeremiah, um, you know, Aaron, this is her vision. This was her idea. Um, Aaron's married to Jeremiah, who is the chairman of the board. And then we have Brenda and Zach. Zach is the president. Brenda, um, does a lot of the design work you know i'd let them know just give them an overview they don't need to know their whole life story those founders were in a different pyramid scheme in a different mlm before i'm not sure i think it was the bradley's and i don't remember anymore which mlm it was but i remember he was saying yeah i was in a different mlm and they were kind of operating as a pyramid scheme and then we decided to leave and make mlm of our own which does not operate as a pyramid scheme but I definitely, you know, I, some of these other companies, um, I'm not going to name any names. But there's some crazy, crazy things that go on with the history of these companies. Do your research. You don't have to say anything. Just tell them, do your research. Look into the founders. Look into the, um, the history of the company. A lot of times we see companies um, say, oh, this is ground level opportunity. We're a brand new company. And then you research it, you dig in, you're like, oh, no, you're not, um, you're not a new company at all. You've actually gone under multiple, multiple times. You rebrand, you rebrand, you rename. And every time you do, you announce your, your brand new company. Okay. This is a stab at Savvy. This is a direct stab at Savvy, in my opinion, because they're the competition company, right? And they do like to say, we're a new company. We're only founded in 2019 when they actually rebranded in 2019. And Savvy has been around since 2000. 2013 or 12. This was a stab. Nice one, lady. Do your research. Have people take the time and look into it. It is so important. Know who's at the root of that company and make sure they know who is at the root of ours. Um, I'm trying to go fast here. What is that financial situation? You guys, nothing in this whole, like everything we talked about in our economy, what's going on. There's so much uncertainty. Things are feeling unstable. People are scared. Guess what? We know Zaya is 
stable. This company isn't going anywhere, you guys. I mean, that fact, we have zero debt. Anyone new on this call that didn't know that? We have zero debt in our company. Unreal. Um, I, in your I, company, but I would love to know how many reps that are distributors for Zaya are going into debt with buying all the clothes and not getting any money or by working the biz, not earning any profit. Also, I remember for Savvy, I, one of the founders is like a daughter or sister from the lady from LuLaRoe. So that was another stab is like, look at the founders, look who they are, because yeah, they're shady. Share that. I love to share that. We are so financially stable that when things happen in our, in our economy for recession hits, whatever, our company's strong. And I love that. That gives me peace of mind. And I like to share that. I like to your company is strong because top 1% like yourself, plus the founders and the CEOs, they earn so much money based on everyone below them who works hard, who busts their asses trying to work this biz, but you all at the top reap the benefits. And that's why, yeah, you at the top, you're safe. It doesn't matter because you're always going to be earning money based on the downlines. To know that, like it takes away that fear. So. Keep that in mind when you're sharing this for sure. Uh, it's a product, the product itself, that could be a whole other training. People often compare it. Well, is it like Lululemon? What is this? Um, and I say, yeah, it is like Lululemon. I mean, let's be honest, Aaron Bradley loved Air Lululemon and wanted to kind of model a lot of the products off of that, but she loved it so much. But guess what? We have same quality. We are at a much lower, well, at least in the US, a lower price point. Um, and we have way more products to choose from. So I always put those three things out there for them. Like, are you, li you like Lulu? Those are red flags. Those are not pros from the company. Also, what a big statement that you have good quality as Lululemon. No, I don't know. I don't actually wear Lululemon. I think they're too expensive, but at least if you get good quality for that, whatever, go off. But from what I've heard and seen and read all the reviews about Zaya, you're not comparable to a Lululemon. Lululemon? Okay, here's the light and tight. Go put that on your body. You'll never go back. I mean, I'm very, I, I'm very direct with that. I'm like, just go put this on. Have fun with that. And guess what? You have a new customer for life. Okay. I'm like, oh, this is lower price point, same quality, more options for you, like all, all those things. Okay. So use that if they're, if, especially if they're an existing customer or love Lulu. I'm um, sorry. I'm totally missing. <laughs> I'm totally missing comments. I might have to go back, you guys, just for time's sake, because it's 11 o'clock. We're at 30 minutes right now, but I'll go back and answer answer these. Um, okay, how do you sell? I love talking about this too, because how there's so many options, right? Some people are comfortable. They're, they don't want to be around people in person. They just want to do it online. Great, you can do that. Some people are like, I don't have social media. I don't like it. I don't want to do that. I'm not comfortable with it. Great, be in person. Like You can run this so many ways. I like to promote doing a hybrid. I like to say, let's combine them. I have found the most success personally doing that when I do both, okay? Do your in-persons, do your events, do your pop-ups, do your online boutiques, all of it. Do your VIP groups, all that stuff. Combine them, you're going to be unstoppable. Uh, let's see here. Another one. And you guys, add more. If you've got more questions that you get outside of these, put them in there and I'll go back and answer them. I have no experience in any of this. How I learn how to run my business. I hear that a lot. Hello, that was me. I'd never done sales, never done direct sales, do nothing about the product, hadn't even tried Zaya. Okay. So I get, I get it. I get that feeling. I'm like, I don't know how to do this. And I did take a little bit of my sweet time, but that's okay. Um, let people know that you don't have to know how to do it. We are here. We have this community. We will train you. We will teach you. Then you say, well, I don't know about these products. There's so many products. What do you do? It's okay. We have references. You will learn them. Just give people that peace of mind. You don't have to know how to do it. And sometimes what happens out of that is people adopt a whole new way of doing the business, which I think is super cool to see. So that is how I answered that one. Um, I will quote Blair Sells when I answer the next one. I can't afford the enrollment costs. How can I do this? And Blair said it best when she said, um, if you can't afford the enrollment costs, you can't afford not to do this. Keep the focus. If people are going into it like that, and I know because that was me too. Lady, this is bullshit because if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. What are you supposed to do? Go into debt, get a loan, sacrifice something, a month of food? What, what does that even mean? 
if they don't have money, where are they supposed to get money? I couldn't afford the enrollment costs, you guys. If I'm being brutally honest here, I put the enrollment cost, which I think was five, it was four ninety five at the time, and I put it on a credit card my last credit card that wasn't completely maxed out. So I get that fear. I understand that. Um, and, you know, I, I just had to make sure, first and foremost, I got to pay the Loki saying that this is okay. Yeah. Put that on the credit card to join this business where 99% of people never make any profit, never make any profit according to Federal Trade Commission. That is very disgusting in my opinion absolutely disgusting this back i gotta pay this back let people know when you are joining when you're going to dive into this we don't want just your enrollment kit to be paid back yes that will happen and we have all the blue moon stuff like there's so many ways anyway break it down break down the commission with them so they know exactly what they need to sell to earn that back and with the bonuses don't forget all that um but put it in terms of this is so much more than that. You don't, you're not just buying a kit here. Okay. Like we want to have a long term income. Okay. We want this to be so much bigger than that. So make, I think sometimes people enter it with a little bit of a smaller vision. Like what if I can't pay this back? No, let, let's make sure they know what they need to do to pay that back, but then what they need to do to get their business going and so much more than that, so much beyond that. Okay uh let's see and i think just two more and then i'll wrap it up as we're totally now officially over time do i have to keep inventory do i have to deal with shipping this is such an important one and i mean i knew when i joined i would there i had two little girls at the time i'm like i'm not going to the post office i think something people don't always know we have drop ship okay all you have to do is share your website link people order from there and it ships directly to the warehouse or directly from the warehouse that's awesome. We do not have a whole room. I mean, yes, we have our samples. I need to be careful how I say that as I um, definitely have a room of Zaya, but you do not have to do that. You have a few samples to wear, share for people to try. You do not have to keep inventory and go live and sell each piece or have people over and, you know, or drop ship it, whatever you want to do. You don't have to do that. You get orders through your rep website, the warehouse ships to your customer. You don't have to have your party closed. It ships directly to them. Amazing. Game changer. So awesome that we do this, but make sure people know that. Uh, okay. Uh, product warranty. Is there any sort of product warranty? And this is my last one, you guys. I'm sure there's more. Um, hello. We have our blue moon guarantee, which I mean, how incredible is that, that we stand behind our product at that level? You have a full year. If anything happens, you get your money back, you get a new product, whatever. That to me puts so much confidence behind our product, not just for us as reps, but for our customers. It takes that pressure away. You know, a lot of these pieces, if they're making an investment in a great pair of leggings, they want to know if something happens to them that they're covered. And I love that. So make sure to share that as well. You guys, that was so much. I just covered so many things, so many questions. Um, but I think these are so important. I want you to feel confident. I want you to feel comfortable. I want you to talk about this stuff. I want you to share it. And that's going to be your homework, okay? Um, oh, good. You're pumped and ready to go. I know some of you might be at a point too, and I'm seeing this a lot. I've talked to so many of you who have taken a little bit of time off, right? Maybe life got crazy and you know you haven't been able to dedicate the same time to your Zion business. You've just taken a step back. Guess what? Now's a really amazing time to get it up and going again. Relaunch your business, dive back in. There are so many amazing things happening because of this company. The opportunity is huge. This is this can be a game changer, life changing situation. Don't be scared to share it. Don't be scared to talk about it. And that's going to be your homework. Put some of the stuff out there. People don't know it. We think people know it. They don't. They don't dig in. They don't do research like that. They don't do the homework. They and I, I wouldn't expect them to. I don't know another company's compensation plan. Um, so share it. Get it out there. Put it on social media. Have discover calls. Do whatever you need to do. Have that conversation with that person that you know. I mean, I didn't even know that. The girl I was talking to last night, she just started answer, asking questions. And I'm thinking, these are questions I should be putting out there. Okay, so she would know this. So keep that in mind. Um, keep sharing this, you guys. If you've got more questions or you want to add anything to how you approach any of these, please let me know. Put them in the comments. Um, 
and we'll go from there. And I apologize. I totally did not get to all your questions, but I think we'd be here a little while. So um, keep them coming though. And I will answer and hope you guys have a fantastic day. Tomorrow is the last launch of the month. I'm so, so excited. I think it's going to be a good one. I mean, I hope so. It's the last day, last launch of the month. Um, but have a good day, you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Well, wasn't that a lot of BS? I mean, I don't know. It's just, it was going okay. You know, it was funny. It was entertaining. The stuff that she was talking about, pyramid schemes, which clearly doesn't know what she was talking about, was funny, right? But then we came to the very serious point is like, if people can't afford, if they're struggling financially, and she tells them, well, she didn't tell them directly, put it on the credit card, but she was like, this is what I did. And look at me now. I'm a tippy top 1% in Zaya. Which again, it's bullshit. There's no income disclosure statement either. So that people could see the actual potential of what people earn, how much you can earn. The comp plan doesn't do that. In some way it does, but it doesn't show what exactly are people earning on monthly or yearly basis. But let me know down below what you thought about this. Hope you enjoyed it. I mean, hope you didn't get too angry because she really hit the nerve on me with the credit card thing. Probably for most of you guys as well. But thank you for being here till the end. If you have, I really appreciate that you're a trooper. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button if you'd like to support my channel in a nice free way. And as always big shout out to all my channel members really really appreciate you guys and i will see you all in the next one bye